Now let's talk about jumper wires. You've already seen uh, a couple of types of jumper wires, but there's a few more that I'd like to talk about as well. So obviously jumper wires give you the ability to connect components on or off a breadboard and they come in different types. For the Arduino, the most common type is this, where both ends have got a pin extended out and they're the most commonly used type of jumper wire when you work with the Arduino because the Arduino has got female headers and you can just plug your jumper wires like that directly onto the Arduino and from there on a breadboard like this. Another commonly used type of jumper wire is this one here. The, this one is a female to male jumper wire. And the nice thing about that is that you can use it with a device like this. Again, the ultrasonic distance sensor. You can just plug it into the header of the sensor and then from there onto your breadboard. So then you've got your sensor freely movable you can attach it at some other part of perhaps a project box uh, of your project of course our uh, female to male jumper wires come in individual pieces instead of like this bundle times four wire piece and they look like this usually they come in bunches and then as you need an individual jumper wire you just remove it from the bunch and then it becomes independent and you can use it in your project so you've got uh, male to female jumper wires but there are more here's an example of a uh, female to female jumper wire not very commonly used in projects with the Arduino. These are most commonly used on the Raspberry Pi because the Raspberry Pi has uh, male headers instead of the female headers that the Arduino has. So you probably are not going to need any of those to begin with at least. Another type of jumper wire that you will need is this. We call these crocodile clips and I find them very useful when I work with things such as a multimeter for example. So let me show you. So here's a very simple multimeter and I also have a lecture on multimeters uh, later on in this section. So let's say that you've got a multimeter and you want to measure conductivity between two parts of your circuit. So one way to do this is of course to use the terminals of the multimeter and directly go onto two parts of the circuit like this and probe around. Another way to do this is to connect your terminals to a crocodile jumper wire and then from there to a normal jumper wire and then permanently connect them onto a segment of your breadboard and do this with the other side of course. like that and now you don't have to use your hands trying to for example measure the voltage at a part of your circuit that you're trying to troubleshoot I'm just going to switch to voltage here like that you can have your multimeter permanently connected to the location of the circuit that you want to measure the voltage of and have your hands free doing something else while you're still monitoring the reading on your multimeter and this is just one of the applications of these crocodile clips uh, very very useful and i recommend that you also have a bunch of them say five or ten of those in your wiring box Another type of jumper wire that I really like, especially when I work with breadboards, are these type of flat jumper wires. So instead of them, instead of a jumper wire that looks like this, that is flexible, the flat or slightly unflexible jumper wire is very good for creating nice, easy to uh, apply, easy to see, connections on a breadboard. So I'll give you an example. Let's say that I want to create a very simple 
circuit that contains an LED and a resistor. So normally I would go ahead and connect the resistor on the breadboard like this. And there's my LED as well. And now let's say that we want to connect this little circuit to the power rails. I would use a jumper wire to connect the long pin of the LED, the anode, to the red rail. And I'll use a brown jumper wire to connect the resistor to ground. That's okay. Now we've got the flexible jumper wires completing the circuit. Now imagine that you've got a lot more happening on your breadboard with many other components connecting to many other components. Eventually you have a lot of these wires just uh, hovering over your circuit, making it kind of hard to see what's going on and especially to debug. So what I like about the flat jumpers is that they make it much, much easier to see what is happening with your circuit because they're just on the breadboard instead of over the breadboard. So I would use one flat jumper to connect ground and another flat jumper for power, like this, with the five volt rail. And as you can see, nothing is hovering all the components are on the breadboard and it's very easy to discern where the jumper wires begin and end. So if you are doing quite a bit of work on the breadboard, then I also recommend and suggest that you have at least some of those flat straight jumper wires lying around. They will make your breadboard prototyping much easier.